Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I am Sally. And in today's video, I've got four different samples that I'm going to show you using an organza. I had an idea, it was probably about two years ago now, and I've had a couple of screenshots of some sleeves that I saw in a shop. I think it was New Look at the time. And I'd really like to have a go at using the gathers to create not sleeves, but little samples. All right then, let's get into it. To begin with, I've got like a kind of mint-ish green organza fabric, which is really, really beautiful, shimmery. And I've just pink and sheared the edges so it doesn't fray. And that one is 10 inch square. And then I've also got a strip here, which I've folded over in width, it is six inches wide, folded it over, and the length of this is actually 57 inches. And on my sewing machine, I have put the tension on seven on the top dial over here. And basically it just kind of scrunches the fabric up a little bit, which is what I want to do. So I'm just going to lay this down oh and i've also just folded the edges in at the end there and what i'll do is i forgot to say i'll pop the images of the sleeves that inspired me in new look on the screen now so as i said here we go pop the end here and just do a straight stitch and i'm just going to line up my presser foot at the edge of the fabric and just run it all the way down on straight stitch. And you can see that the fabric is starting to gather at the top here. And what I'm also going to do is just move the tension back to the normal setting and I'm just gonna do a straight line on both ends of the strip, a straight stitch that is. That's what it looks like after it's been sewn. So you can see there's like a nice little gathering that started to happen naturally um, using a higher tension. So now that it's shrunk a little bit, I'm gonna go back to my square and I'm gonna just lay this out like a kind of snake shape like that and then I'll just pop a few pins in just to hold it down right uh we're gonna sew up to there and then I think I'm gonna sew to there and then I'm gonna switch sides and sew from that side so I'll pin that down there So it looks like that. And then I'm just gonna use straight stitch and go very close to the line that I'd already sewn. So that's sewing line there. Just take this really nice and gently. Now I'm going to just switch to this side to sew it down. And that's that one finished. And I think that's super duper. Love it. Love the way these gathers are just standing up like that. So that's the first one. Okay, for this next one, I want to do, it's almost like a flower shape, which I think is really stunning. The width of the strip is six inches. So all I've done is I've just, I've already sewn this one, so I'll save a bit of time. And I'm just curling it around in the middle. Hello, Bibi. Hello. You come to say hello? You had your licky licks? Yeah. A bit wet outside, isn't it? I know. He's a bit wet. Right, so yeah, I've got a little flower shape here. 
and again I just need to sort out the edges of the, with a straight stitch and then I just need to sew this down. Straight stitch on the ends of the strip and then I'll pin it down and get started on the sewing the spiral shape. Right, and I'm just going to sew this down, straight stitch again. You having a little snooze, Layla? Little snooze. Oh. Shall I get your bed? She'll get your bed. Oh. Where's she going? Oh no. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. That's Sally's. <gasps> no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Layla was trying to destroy my little samples there by using a paw and kicking the fabric up in the air. She's cute though. You're coming back again, Layla. <laughs> coming back for more. Where is she? There she is. There she is. Having a little stalk around. Looking for spiders. I think you want to go outside. Do you? Oh, trucking off over there, back to the fab. Okay, so that is the second sample. How lush is that? Really, really lovely. I think if you're having a go at this, I would probably get that curled in a little bit more into the centre there. I started it over here, but I think perhaps filling that in a little bit more or even having a little bit more of the gathering would be great, but I am super happy with that. Okay, for this third sample, what I want to do is a little bit more of a, a chaotic tangle sort of crazy one. So it's still using the long strips. In fact, it's two strips done a width of four inches and I've also sewn it up again along the edge and I just need to do the edges of these before I get it sewn down. But I will show you kind of how I've arranged it. At the minute it looks like this. So yeah, I just want them to all sort of stand up and create texture. bit differently as I said it's actually a more narrow strip of fabric and there's two but as you can see I've kind of wound the ruffle all the way around and then I've twisted and turned and in parts I've left unsewn bits that can kind of stand up because the fabric is stiff enough and the stitches hold it down enough to stand up vertically which i just think is gorgeous really really like it and there's another little twist there that i've done intentionally so that that will stand up as well and for this final one i've got two strips the same width as the first one six inches wide all right and there's two strips on this one so it's not that dissimilar to the second one that i did here this one has got more strips and a shorter amount in width so let's see how we get on with this one also i'm going to curl it a little bit more in the middle like that
Or look at it. Love, love, love it. I really like the colour of the fabric as well. Um, this is very me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Leila, what do you think? Do you like the sounds? Her ears have gone forwards. <laughs> You're thinking it's a game, aren't you? You're thinking it's a game. Loving it. Oh, you've come to have a little nosy. Have you? You come to have a little nosy? What have you seen that you like? Do you like the sound? Uh oh. Do you just want a little stroke? Hope that you like this one. It's very cute. And that could be the best one, I think. What do you think, Layla? No, don't sit on it. Don't sit on it. No, 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 no. Little nose. Little nose. She's getting into a bed. On you. Yeah. There we go. Shh. Okay then, there's all four. Do you know what? I think they've got better and better. Originally, I liked the first one. And then we went into the second one, which was really nice and long. And then we went into, I'm going to call it the chaotic one, just because... It is pretty wacky, isn't it? But there's a lot going on there and I do really like it. And then finally, look at this. Stunning. just had a little thought that it just might be fun just to see as you know you can see that I'm into these kind of sleeves but look that's quite cool isn't it that's quite nice let's have a look at the others that's the chaotic one how textured and nice is that and then that was the first one that I did And there's the other one. That was the longer length of fabric. Enjoyed this video today. And if you did, don't forget to give me a big like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here today and you'd like to see future content like this, then obviously it is all free. And let me know those of you that have subscribed for a little while now, let me know if I should be doing more daily content on Instagram. I've been thinking about it a lot. I did it quite a bit during lockdown on a daily basis and I don't so much now, but if you'd like to see sort of a little bit more behind the scenes, scenes of my projects. All right then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you shortly. Bye. Look at this one.